Hello everyone, I just want to make a very quick video about why I still run Octoprint on my 3D printers even though uh, stuff like uh, Mainsail and Fluid exist and they work better with Clipper and uh, yeah, for those of you who don't know, this uh, Mainsail and Fluid are kind of like uh, Duet Web Control they let you control uh, Clipper a bit easier and they have some nice features like update management and stuff like that but uh, the reason I don't switch to them is because of my plugins and that's about it really and there are only three plugins that I really care about and if they make their way to uh, mainsail or fluid or whatever well I won't use them but uh, yeah for now I really like these plugins and I can't really part with them one of them is Octolapse so uh, here we can see an example of what it does it's a time-lapse uh, system but uh, yeah, you can see that it lets you generate time lapses like this. I've used these in my videos previously. I'll put up one on the screen right now, and uh, yeah, it just looks cool. And it also gives you more flex flexibility in terms of the settings you want for your time lapses. So you know, 60 fps, 30 fps, where you want the tool head to move, etc. It gives you a lot of options, and it is pretty useful. That is one of the things that I can't really part with, and that's mostly for video making, to be honest. It's not really practical in day-to-day -day usage. But the Spaghetti Detective and the Cancel Object plugins, well, they have a use in real life. I've made a video about Spaghetti Detective before, at least installing Spaghetti Detective on a Jetson Nano, but basically what it lets you do is it actually uses AI to watch your prints using the webcam, and once it detects a failure, it uh, warns you and if you set it to do so it also cancels your print so you can see that it's picking up the spaghetti here and uh, yeah this isn't a great demonstration but you can actually see some failed ones in the gallery here it lets you stop the print so uh, you don't end up wasting filament or uh, you know you can just restart your print or whatever and it, one of the things that actually makes this really useful is the cancel object plugin so especially on my Voron 2, if I'm, plate, if I'm printing a full plate and uh, if I have an adhesion problem or something like that on one of the parts, I don't have to cancel the whole plate. This lets you cancel individual objects on your uh, plate that failed and you can continue printing the rest of them. This is really useful so, you know, if imagine you're in the middle of a 36 hour print or something like that and, you know, at some point one of the stuff just it turns into spaghetti. Well, uh, yeah, you can cancel that and not have to throw away the rest of the stuff that you're printing. And uh, yeah, it is uh, very useful to use this. You do need some slicer compatibility, but uh, my super slicer setup works pretty well. And, and with other slicers, you can get them working as well. There is some documentation about that, but not going to get into that. So uh, yeah, this is definitely very useful. So basically it comes down to Octolabs, Spaghetti Detective and Castle Object. Spaghetti Detective, I think it will make its way to uh, at least support for Clipper directly using Moonraker maybe, or maybe it will be through Mainsail or Fluid, I don't exactly know, but I know they want to uh, support Clipper, so it will happen at some point, and actually some of the Spaghetti Detective devs are all in the war on Discord as well, like Ray is a dev on the Spaghetti Detective, and it's a, he's a war on dev, so... You know, there are a few people in common, so I'm sure this, it will happen eventually. But uh, I have no idea if Octolabs will happen in any of these uh, clients. And uh, yeah, I don't know. And same with Cancel Object. I don't know, but it would be nice to see. And I just wanted to make this quick video just to give you an idea about why some people, including me, aren't switching from Octoprint. There are definitely some advantages to switching mainsail or fluid or whatever, but as long as these plugins aren't available or an alternative of them isn't available with mainsail or fluid or whatever, well, I'm not switching. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to give you an idea of why some people aren't switching to them. Basically, it comes down to uh, plugins. For me, it's these three plugins, and if they make their way to uh, main sale or fluid or whatever, I'll uh, switch to that because, as I said, there are some advantages to them as well. But um, yeah, as long as that's not the case, I'm not going to switch. And I know a lot of other people who have their attachments to their plugins with Octoprint as well, and that's why they're not switching. So uh, yeah, just wanted to make this quick video just to give you an idea of why some people aren't switching to this setup. So. Uh, Really, that's it for this video, so I hope this was interesting to you, and thanks for watching.